I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So the wine we're tasting now is Tyrrell's Vat 1 Semillon 2016. It's a winemaker's selection wine, which, is mean, which means it's one of their top wines at Tyrrell's. It's, uh, it's not cheap, it's $98. Tyrrell's, of course, one of the famous family wineries of the Hunter. It's been going for well over 100 years, established in 1858, now in its fifth generation with uh, Bruce and his son Chris uh, on, the, on the ground and working at Tyrrell's. Even at six years of age, very, very light, bright, luminous colour, beautiful colour. And you can tell by the colour at that age that it's an ageing, a slow ageing wine, which is going to have a long life. Have a sniff. And there are classic Samyon characters of lemon, uh, lemongrass. But in this one particularly, I get straw and meadow hay characteristics. So that lovely smell of curing meadow hay as it's lying in the paddock before you put the baler in and bale it up. It's also got some sort of minerally characters, a chalky, earthy character, a little overtone of that to it helps in add the interest to the wine. But toastiness, which comes into these wines with age, is barely started in this wine. At six years of age, it's barely started to be toasty. I think that's a good sign. It indicates that the wine is aging slowly. Let's have a taste. Mm. And that is just, uh, classic Hunter Semillon is very delicate anyway, but this is really at the delicate end of classic Hunter Semillon. Only 11% alcohol, so very, very light, very refreshing, good crisp acidity, a beautiful wine to get the taste buds salivating, get you prepared for a meal, a good aperitif in other words. So this is very much a light bodied wine. It's dry, there's no residual sugar, the acidity is fresh and mouth-watering. It's very, very light-bodied, and yet it has intensity and length of flavour. Beautiful. So how do we rate this wine? We scored it 94 out of 100, which is a very high silver ribbon score. Uh, we suggest that you can drink it now and at least for another 10 years, probably another 15 years if it's well cellared. We are recommending to have with this wine a ceviche of fish, uh, a scallop ceviche in fact, which is um, obviously marinated scallops. They're marinated in something acidic, which, uh, which transforms them slightly. So they're, they're soaked in lime juice and vinegar in this particular recipe that we're looking at. And the details are there at the end of this show. Cheers. <music> If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.